Hello, it's chess with Bill. I'm gonna play some chess tonight. Here we go. We're gonna do a 15 and 10. See what happens. See what happens. Carlos Felipe, I'm pretty sure that's my roommate. It's probably not actually my roommate, but I'm going to say it is. Can I move here? I don't know. This could be a real quick game. Mm. I feel like D4 is probably a move that like people know. I don't know it. Go by intuition, baby. Uh, do I want to put my knight here? Developing. I could put my knight here. What is his knight really doing, right? Now, let's say I put my knight here, and then he comes here, right? It's one of them traps, right? So I go here. Let's say this happens, this happens, this happens. This is a problem. So I come here. Let's say he comes that way. I'm in the same situation. This is a known thing. But I think I have a response to it. So let's say after this, what do I do? Do I pop here? Right. This, is, I, I'm, I'm trying to avoid this whole thing. Now, how to reassess your chess fourth edition says, look at your opponent's plan and laugh. Look at it with derision. Thing is, this is all opening crap, which I don't really know. I just played it and lost. Okay. Let's say here. Boom, boom, same difference, right? So kicking the bishop does not work right now. I think this is the move. Or I just lose the game, because this is probably a trick that everybody fucking knows. Like this. Ah, oh, I probably should have taken with the bishop. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. I think this is... I think in an analysis at one point, I had this thinking it was good and it was wrong. I don't know. Okay, he's coming here. Uh, this is an issue potential. But I need to play my own game. So, we're going to play my own game. What happens here? Why would I do that? It's develop to attempt to get a castle. Uh, I've got this going on, which is a little bit of a beat on the king, but not much. I've got that. Takes, takes. Then this takes. Look at this guy. I would like to get something out. Could also take the B file. We're gonna do this, that, boom, boom. I think it's okay. Okay, so he's gonna develop and get his knight involved. Now I'd like the Fianchetta. Why? Because I, I enjoy doing that. He's protecting this square right now. I do like this as well. This pawn hanging out, what is he doing? I've got a pretty good deal here. And the knight is there. I could attack the queen. But I'm not going to do that right now. Let's come here. Yeah. My idea is here, Finketo, and then castling. That's the idea. What would the thwarting of that be? Maybe the bishop there this uh, castling and then he's kind of got this kind of thing going on. Let's do it. Why not? Oh, he castles first. Okay. Is he from España? Yes. Carlos Felipe. Carlos Felipe. 56. What does the 56 mean? That's the question. What does it mean? If it means he was born in 1956, 56, uh, it means he's got a few years on me. He's likely going to do a lot better. Rating of 1074. I mean, he could be doing a speed run. He could be a GM doing a speed run. He could be an IM doing a speed run. So he's gaining some space 
on the king side, I think what he's actually doing is just protect this square, right? So his queen could go there, for example. I'm going to castle. It was my plan. I'm going to do it. He's just doing his thing. I could push there, but I don't think I want to have this backwards pawn. Hey, that's right. I don't want that backwards pawn. What happens here? This is no longer really an option. This could be something, perhaps. <clears throat> and my uh, development would be complete. So there. I've got several attackers on that square. Dark squares. Lots of light squares. Hanging out. Not really an option. This bishop is not doing much right now. Kind of see this. His dark squared bishop's not doing much. But then I have lots of light square weaknesses, right? What about this and then this? Is that silly? That. Boom, boom. What's this? Let's say he he attacked the, the, the old dude. I would take, he'd come this way, opening that up, and he's got a pawn there, which is a little annoying. Hmm. He's also moving this way, so whenever that happens. Let's go here first. It kind of sort of it makes him either do something here, prevents him from moving this bishop right away. I mean, he loses a pawn. Lots is, I don't know if maybe this is such a great move. But I'm trying to poke around. Lascivious. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Okay, so he comes here, defends, and uh, defends these light squares. Okay, I think that might be a waste of move. I would like this now. Why? It opens up this light squared bishop to do what? Put pressure here. This, this. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, it opens that up, but I've got this and this. This is where I start blundering. A blundering. Also, if you're watching this, uh, thank you very much for work spending this much time and uh, for those of you that have given me a lot of comments on my gameplay thank you I appreciate it It actually does help you know incrementally I'm getting better and that's all I'm going to say about it yeah you know this is uh, I suppose middle game he hasn't moved his bishop I haven't moved my queen I guess we're technically still in the opening are we What's my queen doing per, uh, right now? Protecting the bishop, protecting this pawn. Okay. Got these dark squares. He's taking... Uh, um, what am I trying to say? He's taking space on the queen side. I could come here. That would lose the pawn. Hmm. I could come here. This seems like it's being played, right? I've got two to his uh, three. This was my idea. Attacking this pawn here. He's got boom, boom. I would have boom, boom. And then opening this attack up. Let's say I come there. Uh, let's say I attack. He attacks. I take. I lose that. Then I get this. That's the idea. Probably not paying too much attention to what I should be paying attention to. Do I care so much that he has this for his bishop? Not right now. Maybe I should. I'm thinking this dragon here. So he's probably going to want to move his bishop. No, he's going to attack with his... He's going to block with his knight. Where does the knight go? This, uh, this is a forced move. This causes this guy, so he's going to want to bolster. If I take there, he's got that. But then I have his rook. If I take here, he can check. I've got this. 
if I take there, he's got this, I've got that. And then he takes. I think I can take there. What am I not considering here? Any obvious thingamabops? <clears throat> I could take here. I don't like that move though. Just off the cuff. This seems like this, seems like this, seems like this. I still do have that. Takes, takes, takes. He could come there. We all lose that. I still get his rook. So should I just clear out the board or attack that way? Let's say he it gets his rook involved. Okay, this gets his rook involved. These pieces are still there. Let's say I take. It allows his bishop to come out that way. And I have all these players there. That seems bad, right? What happens if I take here? And he takes that way. Two knights are down. I get this, he comes that way. I can just move straight back or pop there. You know what? I'm gonna take. Right, so the bishop is hanging, truth. I didn't quite think about that. Um. See, we're equal right now. I get this he could take that's a little bit gnarly this way and that he's got this and this kind of thing that I, have, I don't know that's a little annoying how does he defend maybe there all right let's say i take i lose the bishop there or that way even this seems pretty crushing Knights off the board. His bishop isn't doing much with his pawn there. So I could just pop back. I think I'll do that. Probably forces a move here, here. Kind of tightens up. Uh... I would say he moves his rook or gains space. Because this pawn, it's pretty advanced. I don't think it's an awful problem right now. Okay, so he moves over there. I maintain the bishops. Huh. So to gain space here or not. There's, of course, this move. Um, there's pushing, but I don't think that's so great. It opens up the king, and that seems pretty gnarly. Come here. Contesting. I could come here. What does he do? Where does he move this guy? Maybe there? Let's come here. No, hold on. He just does this, right? So I just aid him in developing. That's no good. Hmm. What to do, what to do. All right, so attacks-wise, I'm seeing this. How can I gain something here? What does he have weak? There guy, this guy. Need to watch my time because he's got a lot of time and I have very little. Hmm. All 
I'd like to move this pawn. It seems very natural, but maybe not. What happens after this? His bishop isn't doing much, so he might just want to move it. Maybe here? I don't really want to give up the dragon bishop, but... It seems pretty effective right now. It might induce a move like that. Okay. So he's willing to trade this. And it also blocks his rook, right? So what happens here? Blocks my bishop there. I don't like that much. Not a lot of time. Takes. Probably takes this way. What happens here? He probably takes. I take. He takes. I take. He takes and I take. And then he takes this way. Not quite good. I could come up here. He could Fianchetto. No, that's not Fianchetto. It's Ampassant. Here. Boom. Like that. Let me think. Could get this pawn structure. Huh. I'm gonna try that. We'll see if he's a real player in en passant first. En passant. Do it. I don't even know if that's the best move or not. But you should, there it is. All right, ultimate respect for this guy. Fine. Fine. Oh, ye. Oh, ye who. Amazon. 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 Here's where I was thinking. We're going to do that. Nah. I'm assuming this. The net. I guess he does get that. This, I take, he comes here with the queen. Is it okay to come here at this point? Takes, yeah, okay, he comes there. Um, so he's calculated that out a little bit. Do I take or do I come up here? doesn't seem great for him. This is a bunch of tactical shit that I'm just not good at. Honestly, I was thinking something like this. probably stupid I mean I'm down a bishop he could just move his bishop back yeah I think he could just move his bishop up I don't know I was thinking thinking something <sighs> overthinking is what I was doing you know, it's that whole thing where you're like, oh, the trade, the trade, the trade, that he also sees too, or that person sees. I'm assuming Carlos is a dude. Uh, I'm going to try something a little different. Eh. I think just the bishop anywhere that's safe is perfectly fine. And then he's just up material. But I thought it looked cool. So if I come up here, I guess that salvages the bishop, assuming he doesn't take. Puts pressure on this. And maybe we could come over this way. Backwards pawn here. I guess it just depends on what he does. Okay, so he takes. Um, all right, so I'm down a bishop. Here, here, here. And then he has the bishop out. There. 
And he moves his bishop away, and I've d got double pawns. Uh, do I want to take this out? Or do I want to take this out? No, I'm sorry. This out or this out? Loads of pawns coming at me. Got four minutes. I can work with four minutes. Takes, he trades, maybe. Takes, he trades, boom, and I'm still got the, the pawns. We're going to go there. Make him move this guy away. I guess he could double up. Okay, so he does move away. So that's guarded presently. This, this, this. This could be an issue. There's that. There's also this, which is not really a threat. And he's got these pawns coming down. So how do I want to do this? Mm, I'm losing, am I not? Am I not? Yeah, this is not a great position. This seems natural. Takes, takes. And I got this pawns, man. Let's do that. I don't have an attack here, do I? Because of this queen. Yeah. I mean, it depends on what he does. I'm assuming he just pushes. Maybe there. I guess I can do this. He pushes. I've got that. Maybe he takes. Yeah. I don't have an attack. All right. Well, not the greatest. Oh. Okay. He's coming at me with the uh, uh, the other dude. What to do here? This is not an attack. Mm -mm. Trying to get out of the way of this pawn. No, I need to move him, don't I? Okay. Yeah, I had a better way of doing that exchange before. But let me play the game that's in front of me right now. Okay, that was a bad move. This he takes. Mm. Got this pawn hanging too. Yeah, didn't do so well there. Um. No, Will. Just losing. <laughs> Whoops. This and he takes here, right? This queen is sort of... Oh, shit. What's going on with my, my mouse? Right? I'm going to pre-move this. Wait, am I? No, I'm not. Because if he takes with the queen, he will take with the queen, won't he? All right, well, I know where I've messed up. Obviously, that little exchange. And there's probably some mistake in my opening we're going to fight this a little bit until it's that's absolutely certain but i think he has to blunder to uh <clears throat> to actually lose um squares he could take there yeah oh he takes that take took that way all right so this and he and he takes over here i could exchange queens My pawn's here against these three. I think I lose. I was thinking that. I can also push. Do I want the queen? I, of course I want the queen, but I've got a minute. Oh, how am I going to do this? Queen here probably just blocks. Come back. 
here. Hmm. I was thinking initially to this. I don't think it works. You know what? Let's just play through my idea. Uh, if it's if it's wrong, which it probably is, it's fine. I think this is the move he makes, and then I'm gonna do that. Why? You know. Huh, he didn't do the thing that I thought he was going to do. All right, well, there's the this thing. So he's protecting this square, or he's actually protecting that square. Okay. So we are kind of on the same page. Interesting. He's got that and that. What do I want to do? I could trade. Trading seems like a bad move. Here. And he likely just pushes all the way, right? Queen trade there. And now I've got this. And it's just losing. Hmm. Okay, so I could come here. Kind of sort of limits his pawns. Or his bishop. Maybe no, that's not no good. Right, so he comes there like like I thought, and he's pretty gnarly here. Um, there, pop pop, and I've got a a pawn there, and this bishop is protected, so he can now move. Let's come here. I've got kind of a silly idea, but I think I'm just going to get crushed. As in literally crushed by pieces. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how a piece and a couple pawns, man. You just don't got it. He's got a lot of time, too. I was thinking this to cut off the king, and then something like this. It's not going to work. Not going to work. Right, and he sees all of that, so. Ain't going to happen. I could, of course, trade queens. I don't want to do that. Pushing here. He can just kind of push down. Uh, I've got these pawns. I don't think they really need to move. Maybe coming up here. It's a move that gives me a little bit of move that gives me a little bit of time. Right, so he's coming down this way. Um Let's see. What do I do? Uh where did this We'll call that a waiting move. <laughs> I don't see any moves. I think I've lost the last. This is win plus 12. I, I don't know what that means. Plus 12, plus 3, draw, minus 5, lose. I mean, I've lost. I was going to say, well, I don't know. I don't actually know what that means. So he comes out that way. Uh, what does that open up? So, uh, I'm coming here. Yeah. Takes his kings there. So I'll do that. <clears throat> a little bit of time.
obvious move. Doesn't do much there as well. Again, my queen can't do anything with, uh, okay, I'll come there. I mean, I can get a pawn. He can check. I move up. He's got this. I move up. Let's see. It's a dangerous square for me. Right? Let's see. This. He checks. I move up. He checks, I move up. I think it's okay. As in, I don't think I immediately lose. I mean, I've lost, but I don't immediately lose. I uh, likely moves here to get another queen. I can take. I can check for no reason. Check there. Another light squares. He's got to move there, maybe. I can take there. Oh, he comes out. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, I don't think I have any other move with this. Maybe he has a mate here. Yeah, he does. Never mind. All right, well, that's my bad. I didn't see it. So, are you ready for the game review? Uh, so you had 90%, I had a little bit less than 80. Um, and he was winning after a big fucking mistake. Plop, 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 plop. This is a miss. You overlooked the opportunity to win material. Really? Where he, 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 we. So, I expected that move. And what did I do? I think I moved... I was attempting to position my bishop. An, an opportunity to win material. Surely he's not talking about this. Because isn't that opposed by that? Maybe it's... So I think I was just complicating it. If I do this, I knew I had something here. I knew I had something here. Here, here, and then I take. Here, here, and then I take. I bet that's it. Yeah, I just overly, I overly complicated it. Yeah. I don't, I just overly, because I was thinking, okay, after that, he comes here, and then somehow I'm going to lose this. And I was, I was threatened by all this stuff. Okay, well, so I had the right idea. Again, I had the right idea. I overly complicated it. Yep. He takes, I was threatened by this. I thought this would be gnarly. Because I was like, uh-oh, he's going to come here, and then, you know, I can defend, but he's got this something, or... Didn't know. I would like to know what happens after that. Wait, what's going on? That doesn't seem very good for me, is it? Well, no, it is. I've got two rooks, a knight. Really? Two rooks and a queen to his kind of mismatch. And I have a lot of central pawns. Okay. Um, I don't know where I am in this review. What What's going on? Next. Okay, so instead of this, take here. All right. After this, instead of that, take here. I would like to see 
the progression. So I had the right idea. Just, I overly complicated it. Uh, I mean, that seems like the obvious move, but that's not really what I was thinking of doing. I was thinking about doing that. Or just moving back. Let's go there first. This is good. Wins a tempo. There's that. Mm. What else? I think just moving back. Or maybe even here. Bishop on safer square. Let's see what the actual... So it is a bishop move. Blocking. Putting some pressure on the king. Getting the hell out of dodge. That doesn't seem like a great move. Let's try it. I want to know what the actual move is that it does. Hint. Give me the hint. Really? Move all the way here. So I guess I'm just bolstering the e-pawn. And it says this. And now expanding on the king side. Which I did poorly. Okay, queen there. Again, I'm overly complicating things. Um, could have taken. It's obvious. And that was the end. Uh, let me see. That's good. So actually, just getting rid of the queen is the best move. So he takes, obviously. I mean... I'm assuming I get the king over here. No, g7. f5. Attacking his bishop. So, harrying the bishop, this is going to run into this. Uh, right? And that's it. I mean, that's it. Okay. So, what's the moral of the story? Don't overcomplicate things. Uh, I had... I had an intuition about the tactics of this game, but then I'm insecure about my own ability to do tactics, uh, so I overly complicated it, and then was like, oh wait, I'm going to try to get squirrely and you know creative, but really just taking the pieces, keeping the tension, as reass How to Reassess Your Chess 4th Edition says, be cool with the imbalances. Be cool with the tension until it actually benefits you. I had a plan this game. And then when I got to it, I started tweaking it and being like, well, wait a minute. And just the guy outplayed me uh, in time and everything else. Anyway. Okay. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I'm going to share with you guys. Hey, Patreon peeps, James Johnston. Ember Alaria, Natalia Klein. Thank you guys so much for being Patreon people. Uh, Patreon.com slash chess with Bill. It is $3 uh, to help support the channel and all the stuff that I do. Helps out a whole lot. And, uh, you know, when I play music, I usually play the royalty free music productions by band or on Bandcamp. Check these guys out in the event that you care to do so. Uh, it is pretty good stuff. And when I say it's pretty good, I mean it's real good. Yeah, so this is Jess with Bill. Um, I typically do live streams, actually. And uh, on those live streams, you're welcome to join the chat, hang out. Uh, oftentimes, I will be playing subscribers and all that good stuff. And you are more than welcome to chill, uh, talk all the good chess and all those things. Jump on. Um, part of this is is building a community. I've got a 
chess with Bill folks. Chess.com club. I've got a chess club on chess.com. Join it. Uh, if, you, if you need the link or whatever, it should be in the description. If it's not, I don't know, jump on a live stream. Hey, when do I do live streams? Well, I'll tell you when I do live streams. You know, whenever I want. Usually late at night, very late, when the moon is high and the stars are out. Uh, typically on Wednesday, very, very, very late. So Thursdays, mornings, if you're across the world. Uh, if you're in my time zone, think of, think of the witching hour, Wednesdays, and throughout the week here and there. I'm going to play you some uh, some royalty-free music productions. This is called Determination. It's awesome. Thank you guys so much. Uh. 